Okay, so first of all, this formula will let you take text and separate it out so that each word is in a different cell. And in this video, I'm going to be explaining how this formula works. So this formula is actually six formulas combined together. So I'll start by explaining each of them individually and then combine them all together. So the len formula will tell you the length of a text string or the number of characters in a text string. So if I select this cell here, it will tell me that it is 25 characters long. Then the repeat formula will repeat a piece of text and you need to put this text inside quotation marks. So I will repeat a pipe symbol and then I will repeat it a certain number of times. So if I put four in here, it will repeat the pipe symbol four times. Then the substitute formula will let you substitute one piece of text for another. So if I select this text here, and then the text I'm going to replace is going to be a space, and that needs to be in quotation marks as well. And then what I'm going to replace it with will be a pipe symbol and close brackets and enter. And then it takes all of these spaces in this text string and replaces them all with pipe symbols. Then the mid formula will let you take a piece of text from the middle of a text string. So if I select this text here and then say the start number is one and the number of characters is one, then that will get me the letter M because I'm looking at just the first letter. Then if I change the number of characters to two, I will get both the M and the A. And then if I change this to three, I get both the M, A and the R. Then if I change the start number to two, I start counting from position two instead and get A, R, C. Now if I change this to one and three, then the start number is three and I only want one character, so I get the letter R, which is the third character along. And then if I change the start number to one and the number of characters to five, I end up with the whole of the first word. Then with the trim formula, if I add in a bunch of extra spaces here and then type the word March, the trim formula can be used to get rid of all of the extra spaces. So if I select this cell here and press enter, it gets rid of all of the extra spaces at the beginning and I end up with just the word March. Then the columns formula will let you select a range of cells and it would tell you how many columns is in that range. So here it's telling me I have one column. Then if I press F4 to put the dollar signs around the first cell reference, that will make it an absolute cell reference so that it won't change. But the second cell reference is still a relative cell reference, so that will change. So when I click and drag the formula, the range will expand. So it is now looking at two columns and I get the number two. And if I continue to click and drag, then the number of columns will increase by one each time. And so that's what all of the individual formulas do. Now we're going to start combining them together. So first of all, I will take the repeat formula and I will repeat the pipe symbol. And the number of times I'm going to repeat it will be the length of this text string here and close brackets and enter. So I know from up here, this piece of text is 25 characters long. So I'm repeating the pipe symbol 25 times. Then here I'm going to use the substitute formula and I will select this cell here and then the old text is going to be a space and the new text is going to be a pipe symbol. And so I will substitute all of these spaces in that text string for the pipe symbol. 
but I don't want just one pipe symbol. I actually want to repeat the pipe symbol. And the number of times I'm going to repeat it is going to be the length of this text string up here and close brackets and close brackets again and enter. And now I have 25 pipe symbols in between each of the words. Then I'm going to use the mid formula here and I'm going to take this piece of text and then the start number is going to be this number here and the number of characters is going to be the length of this original text up here and close brackets and then I need to press F4 to put the dollar signs around these two cell references and enter and then if I click and drag this down you can see that the starting position is increasing by one each time so I get less and less of the word March as I drag it down but I don't want it to increase by just one each time. I want it to increase by 25. So I'm going to take this number here and times it by the length of the original text string. And I'm going to press F4 to make that an absolute cell reference. And then I will click and drag it down. And then change this formula here to be looking at this cell and enter and then double click to send it down. And now you'll see I've separated out the last four words, but there's a problem because I am starting at 25. It doesn't get the first word here. So in order to fix that, I am actually going to take this value here and minus one from it, and then put that in brackets and enter and then send that down and now you can see it's still got the last four words here but there is still a problem with the word march because now it is doing one minus one which is zero and so it's trying to find the zero character which doesn't exist so in order to fix this i'm going to add one and then I will double click to send that down. And now I'm starting at one and adding 25 each time. And so I now have all five of the words separated out. You'll see that as I go down, there are more and more pipe symbols in front of each of the words. And that is because I don't have just 25 pipe symbols. I also have the number of characters which is in each word. So the first split is at about here, and then the next one is at about here, and then the next one at about this position. So I'll always end up with more and more pipe symbols in front of each word. But because the number of pipe symbols is the length of the original text string, it's never going to split a word in two, and it's also never going to have more than one word in each section. So in this way, we can separate out each of the words. But I don't actually want to be able to see all of the pipe symbols here. So I'm going to change this to, instead of repeating the pipe symbol, repeat a space instead. And now I just have a bunch of extra spaces in front of each word. And I can get rid of these using the trim formula. So I can select this here and then drag it down and I then have all of the words separated out, which is what I want. Now I'm going to take all of this and combine it together in one cell. So I'm going to do equals substitute to start off with and we're substituting this text here and taking all of these spaces and replacing them with the repeat and we'll be repeating spaces and the number of times we're going to repeat the spaces will be the length of the original text string and then close brackets and I need to press F4 to make both of these absolute cell references and then I end up with this text here and the next part is the mid formula and the text is all of the substitute formula then the start number is going to be in brackets, this cell here, minus one, close brackets, times by the length of 
this text string up here and that needs to be an absolute cell reference and then add one and then the number of characters is a little bit simpler and that's just the length of this text string again and press F4 to put the dollar signs around that as well and then close brackets and enter now if I drag this down I get the same result that I had here and now all I need to do is put the trim formula all the way around this and then I will end up with all of the words separated out now if you want to be able to take this formula and then drag it across we need to make a change to this which is to change this cell reference here so we don't have to have these extra numbers and we're going to replace that with the columns formula and so I'm going to select a cell it can be a any random cell and then type in a colon and that will automatically add in the same cell reference a second time and then take this first cell reference here and press F4 to make that an absolute cell reference and then when I click and drag this the number of columns will increase by one each time and so I will get a different word each time as I drag the formula across and it doesn't matter if you drag this formula out too many cells because if you ask it to find a piece of text which isn't there you'll just end up with an empty text string and so you won't be able to see anything in the cell now if you want to be able to do this but dragging these cells down instead you just need to change this here to the rows formula which works the same way as the columns formula but counts the number of rows instead and so I'll put the dollar signs around the first cell reference and then when I click and drag I will get the same result and it's just counting the number of rows each time now in order to get this to work with more than one cell you have to be careful about the relative and absolute cell references so if I put this in here then I need to change this cell reference here to this cell and then press F4 three times until I have just the dollar sign in front of the column letter but not the row number and this will mean that as I drag the formula across it will continue to look in this column but because there's not a dollar sign in front of the row number when I drag the formula down it will look in the different rows and I need to take this cell reference here and copy it and replace all of the other cell references with this then I will also change the columns cell references as well it doesn't actually matter what cells you select for the columns part of the formula but I just like to select cells that are next to the formula and then I will also press F4 here three times to put the dollar sign in front of just the column letter but you can also have the dollar sign in front of the row number in this case as well and you will still get the same overall result and then enter and now I can click and drag this formula across and it will take all of this text here and separate it out so that each word is in a different cell okay and that is everything